The business world is currently debating the Protection of Personal Information Bill. Advisory firm Deloitte, Director for Tax and Legal Affairs, Dean Chivers, is in studio to tell us more about this bill, which will be promulgated soon. Welcome, Dean. Thanks. Now, can you tell us more about the Protection of Personal Information Bill? Why has it been designed and what will it help to achieve? Well, I think it's designed for two, two main purposes. One being that uh, our constitution has a right to privacy in it, but we've got no laws that back that up. Mm -hmm. So, so this will be the first piece of legislation that gives effect to that right, uh, meaning that all of our personal information will now be uh, regulated as to how it can be used and how it is secured. So that's the first part of it. The second part is that data privacy is actually a global thing. Mm -hmm. And most first world countries actually have data privacy laws. So whenever South African companies are trading with foreign companies, data privacy is always an issue. And it really then aligns our laws with the laws that are found in places like the EU, Canada, Australia, places like that. Now, the Protection of Personal Information Bill is currently the topic of a hot debate. Um, what is this debate centred on and what should the business world expect once it's, it's promulgated in September? Okay, those are probably two, two different questions. Let me deal with the first one first. Uh, I think the Protection of Personal Information Bill is, 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 is debated less than people think. Um, it is still going through the process of being promulgated into law, uh, which should happen later this year. But it's really what they're debating at the moment is really drafting issues more than substantive issues. Uh, I think sometimes that bill gets confused with the Protection of Information Bill, which is, um, which is a law that deals more with classification of information from government's perspective uh, and what sort of information they could keep confidential. And, and there's a lot of debate around that. So that's, more, that's the more contentious bill, but I think that the Protection of Personal Information Bill gets a bit of flack from that. As to what business can expect, uh, our data privacy law is very much like the rest of the world's data privacy laws. And um, so I think what business can expect is that the real eight to nine principles that govern data privacy is what all companies are going to have to implement. Every single company does process personal information. And all the requirements around the way it's collected, processed, destroyed, secured, um, and that sort of thing will, will be things that every single company in South Africa will have to align themselves to. Now, you mentioned that the p uh, Protection of Personal Information Bill will be a catalyst for companies to add value uh, while achieving compliance. Can you elaborate on the opportunities available to businesses? Yeah, not everyone will believe me, but um, I think in every, in every compliance aspect that, that comes to companies, you have to try and find the upside. And I think there are some upsides. Uh, I think many companies in South Africa have probably been uh, less than perfect around using their data as a valuable asset and it is a valuable asset. So what, the what this bill will do is it will force companies to address the data they've got, consolidate it, categorize it um, and in that I think there is value. If you look at the, the data that companies will now start to, to look at more closely, it will give them the opportunity to do things like CRM systems, targeting, marketing in a more defined way. So I think that's where people have to try and find the benefits. Um, I also think there's a benefit in the fact that most companies have tons of archived data uh, and there's a problem that no one really ever goes back to fix um, and there's a cost implication to that as well as a IP implication to that and this will force them to address that. So I think those are probably the, the real upsides. Now how does the bill relate to specific industries if for instance we take the insurance industry? Well I think, I think it's going to affect every industry. Uh, there, is, there is no company in this country that doesn't have some personal information even if it's only employees. Mm. Um, but I think uh, companies that are in industries where information is key, such as insurance industries, pension, medical aid, those sort of things will have a bigger task than the rest. I think that'll be the key difference. They'll all have to do the same things, mm. just the, the amount of personal information will differ. Now, speaking of things like compliance, what, have any costs been determined? And what are these costs? Um, do you think the benefits will outweigh the costs of the compliance that's needed? I don't think anyone's ever sat down and worked out what the cost will be because they will differ vastly from company to company. Um, so it'll, it'll be impossible to do that. But they will be substantial. If you consider the amount of data that companies hold in both hard copy and soft copy, uh, if you consider the geographic spread of companies, uh, the various IT systems they have, getting that all consolidated, secured and compliant will be a monumental task for most companies. And so it will be expensive. And I think there are benefits if people look, look out for them and implement them. 
But I think it's unlikely the benefits will outweigh the cost, but you can certainly offset a lot of them if you do it in a smart way. How long can a company keep um, personal information and how can you be sure that they're actually deleting it after its, after its use is finished? <coughs> There's two levels to that, to that discussion. The first is that the bill requires that you only keep personal information for so long as you, were, as, as you need it to fulfill the reason you got it. Um, and after that it should be deleted, not archived. Um, the second element to that is that you can retain it for longer than that if you're required by law to do that. Which is a bit of a challenge because in South Africa we don't have a single data retention law. So it really requires companies to understand all the laws that apply to them, and there could be in excess of 100, and to actually go through each of those and find the retention requirements in those laws. So that's an exercise that needs to be done to consolidate the legal obligations to retain. And aside from the legal obligations to retain, it's the reason you got it once that's, once that's passed, destroy, not archive. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your sure. time. Donate now and give 15 rand a month. SMS JOIN to 41486.